blessed day to everyone. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank God for this great opportunity once again that I am here to. Um, again, I studied the Word of God and I learned the Word of God. And I'm very, very proud and excited that I will share it to you right now. Um, okay, so title of my short exhortation for today is about how to make the most of your time. And um, supporting verse for that is appearing right now on your screen, which is from the book of Psalm, from chapter 90, verse 12. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. So maybe some of you knows that this verse is one of the verses from the prayer of Moses. All of us get the same amount of time in a week, which is 168 hours. Did you even think why there are people who make their lives count and others don't? Why? Yes, it's because of time management. Did you know that God wants to use our life in an amazing way? Yes, He always wants our life in an amazing way. He put us on this planet for His own purpose. But most people don't get to experience this because they don't make time for God. They don't put God on their schedule. They're so busy with their own agenda. Not even them, we. I, you, yes, you, we are so busy. We are all getting about God to put His on our schedule. If we really want to be used by God, then there are so many ways. You must manage your time very well. So again, I am going to repeat. The Bible said from the book of Psalm, from chapter 90, 12, Teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Notice that the time management must be taught. Most of us are not naturally good at it. We naturally waste time. We naturally throw it away on things that don't matter. Here it is. This is it. Make sure that you are listening carefully. To make the most of your time, you must assure responsibility for your time. This means you have to stop complaining about how much you've got to get done and how much you're not getting done, and how much you're overworked and overstressed, and you just start making smart choices. Stop complaining, but start choosing. Sa pangalawang pagkakataon po ay aking tatagalogin, na para maagawa ng mga kapakipakinabang na bagay sa ating oras, ay dapat na mayroon tayong mga kasiguraduhan sa ating mga responsibilidad sa ating oras. Ang nga isabihin dito at ipaliwanag ay dapat po nating gilan o iwasan ang pagreklamo tungkol sa mga bagay na mga nagagawa natin at tungkol din sa mga bagay na hindi natin nagagawa at tungkol na rin sa mga bagay na labis nating nagagawa. Tungkol na rin sa mga bagay na labis na nagbibigay sa atin ng kapaguran, ating kaisipan at sa ating katawan. Bagkos, dapat po tayo na Magsimula na mag-isip ng mga tamang hakbang. Dapat na nating iwasan o tigilan ang pagreklamo. Bags, dapat nating simulan ang pamimili ng nararapat na desisyon. Okay, so back again in English. Your choices control your calendar a lot more than your circumstances do. You may not like what you're doing, but choosing to be busy. Okay, in this case, I would like to give an example of myself. When I first arrived here in UAE as a sales representative of a small industrial trading company, I was assigned to be a sales insight representative or insight sales representative. The everyday routine is like you have to receive phone calls, you need to attend the customers, you need to reply back on their inquiries, you need to send them quotation. Every day is repeating again and again, again and again. In fact, at the time, uh, I was enjoying the work because I'm new on the environment and I would like to learn a lot and learn more. 
there was a point of time that I started to feel like uh, it's not enough. My daily job, it's not enough for me. Uh, I feel like I would like to explore something. But then I approached my boss and I asked him if I can to do the marketing. Then, thanks God, he granted me to he grant me he granted me to go out and do the marketing and after that I go a lot I got my driving license I met so many people so I established my contacts so that is my example of course all of that became possible through the help of my uncle Pastor Edmer thank you so much for that I really I really appreciate that and I'm so thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And also, I would like to thank God that you used my uncle to give me a new life here in UAE to become a better person. And now I am serving with him, with you guys, all of our church members, all of our brothers and sisters. Thank you. And siyempre, ako ko rin magpasalamat sa tita ko na asawa ng tito ko na si Rowena Gonzalez. Uh, tinagalog ko na po. Uh, nagpapasalamat ako ng marami sa kanya. Mother's Day sa'yo. Uh, siningit ko na to. Hindi mo ko tinuring na iba. Tinuring mo ko pa anak mo. Maraming 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 salamat. Uh, talagang napakabuti niyong mag-asawa. At uh, pagpalain kayo na one ng Diyos. Siningit ko na yung portion na to. Pasensya na kayo lahat na nakikinig. Thank you. So, coming back from my example, you can change your circumstances until you start changing your choices. Imagine ninyo doon sa example ko. Andun lang ako sa loob ng opisina, tumatanggap lang ako ng mga tawag ng customer. Sesan lang ako ng quotation every day, every day. Ganun lang araw-araw lang taon yun. Tapos tumatanggap sa point na, na kinausap ko yung boss ko na gusto kong magkaroon ng changes sa mga ginagawa ko sa pang araw-araw. So, yun. Ah... Uh, Nag-start ako na mag-change nung choice ko. So, nabago yung buhay ko. Last but not the least, please don't forget about this thing. There are three types of people in this world. Accusers, excusers, and choosers. Let me begin in accusers. Accusers are the people who go around blaming everybody else for their problems. Second, excusers. Excusers don't blame others. They just want to make excuses for why they don't do more with their lives. You're not going to make it in your life if you spend your life by excusing yourself or accusing everybody else. Now, what God wants you to be? God wants you to be a chooser. He wants you to accept the responsibility for your life. You can be as close to God as you want. You can be spiritually mature as you want to be. It is your choice. Isipin mong mabuti ang mga schedule mo ngayong linggo. Ano-ano ang mga bagay na nasa listahan mo na kailangan mo lang gawin. At ano-ano ang mga bagay na nasa listahan mo na gusto mong gawin. Ano-anong bagay ang pipiliin mo na mas magiging kapakipakinabang sa'yo. Ikaw ba ay user or excuser? At paano ito nakaka-apekto sa pagmamanis ng oras mo? Hanggang dito na naman po. Maraming pong salamat. To God be the glory. Amen.